Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and today we're going to be talking about Receptacle Basics 101. And I guarantee you, no matter how long you've been in the game, there's a good chance that you're going to learn something during this video. And I'm going to also give you three things that you may not know about receptacles. But first, let's start with the very basics. So starting at the front of the receptacle, on the right-hand side, if you're holding it with the ground prong down, this is going to be your hot. It's also typically the smaller hole in the United States. On the left hand side is going to be a little bit wider. It is going to be our neutral terminal and it's going to be on the left hand side of the ground prong if the ground prong is down and it's also going to be a larger hole. On this three prong receptacle the middle prong is going to be the ground prong and that's going to be where we plug in our equipment ground which we're going to talk about here in just a little bit. Also looking at the face of it this is the yoke. The yoke is the strap or piece that holds the device together. We're going to learn some cool stuff about it here in just a little bit. All right, now let's continue on. Looking at the right hand side, if the ground prong is down, you notice that these terminals are typically brass. And on the left hand side, these terminals are typically silver. I was always taught black on brass. And that's how you know that the hot side is going to get the black wire if the black wire is your hot in a 120 volt circuit. Same thing on the left side, white on silver, and that is going to be your neutral terminal on the left hand side if the ground prong is down. Remember, never repeat anything in these videos, just use them for educational purposes only. And then again, if you're facing it with the ground prong down, this is going to be your ground terminal. Now we're going to see how all three of them connect. Well, if we take our electrical voltmeter and we put it on an audible continuity setting, we're going to test how all three of these are tied together. First, we're going to test the hot. Now I do want to note that this is a TR receptacle, meaning it's tamper resistant. So you see these little shutters inside there? They're the same color as the receptacle so you can't see them as much, but there's little shutters inside there. So before I can stick into any one of these terminals, I have to stick into both of them or the shutters will not open. So once I get it open, I can go from here to the hot terminal and that, let me get it down here where I can see it, that will give me audible continuity, letting me know that those two are touching internally. Same thing down here. This one also will have continuity because of this little strap right here. If you look close, that is a little strap that is bonding those two together. If you were to disconnect this, it would work independently from each other. And you'd have to go to this hole for this one, and you'd have to go to this hole for this one. But currently, it doesn't matter which one you go to. Let me open these up. It doesn't matter which one you go to because they're connected by that strap. Now let's do the same thing for the neutral. Let's go ahead and plug into both of them. Now we got it plugged into the neutral terminal. We can check our neutral terminal and we should have continuity to both sides. Continuity there and we have continuity there. Also, same thing with our ground terminal. We can push against the ground tab in the back and also we have continuity here. Now let's go ahead and show you the first thing that you may not know about this receptacle and you, even if you've been in the game for quite some time. Yes, the ground prong will ring out from here to the ground. But did you know that it will also ring out from here to the yoke? Because they're all bonded together. Yeah, let me get this down here where I can hold it. Because they're all bonded together. And this is the one that you may not know. That also, this is the space right here where you screw your faceplate screw in. This one is also connected to the yoke. So whether you go from here, or from here to the ground, or from there to the ground, they're all interconnected together no matter how you do it, it helps in aid bonding the box and the faceplate. So if you were to screw this into a metal box, those metal screws, which are right here, these metal screws would screw into the box and help bond the metal box that's also bonded to the yoke, that's also bonded to the metal faceplate, if it's a metal faceplate. And that would help all the bonding if there is a fault on any one of those parts. It helps make a robust bonding system. Now let's go ahead and talk about the back of this device. Now on the back of this device, there are stab lock terminal ports. And this is where if you use the proper gauge wire and you use it in the proper way, you can actually stab it right in there. I have a video on some concerns and the way that I think about stab locking. You can check it out in my videos. But let's talk about it for today. So it's very popular because it's very simple, but if you use the proper gauge wire and if you read right here, on this device, it'll tell you what gauge wires you are allowed to use. 
All right, now let's talk about the second thing that you may not know about receptacles. And on the back of this, it's actually going to tell you what gauge wires that you can use. It's also typically going to have a strip gauge. And if you will hold the wire up to this point, that'll tell you exactly how much to strip in order to stab into the back. And I would say that it's also very similar for wrapping around the screw, but you'll have to test that one out. I've never used the strip gauge. But I know that this strip gauge is for stabbing in the back. It'll tell you exactly how much to strip off if you're wanting to stab in the back of this device. So that may that's the second tip that you guys may not know. Now let's go ahead and talk about some other things about the device. And we're going to talk about the yoke itself. Now the yoke itself is de designed for many purposes. It's designed to help hold the box, you know, hold this to the box, hold it, the device to the box. It's also, you know, to give it strength, you know, mechanical strength. Also, one thing, and this is the third tip that you may not know, that these ears are actually designed, let me get it where I can see it through the camera here, are designed to come off. And if you look on the screen here, I'll show you the reason why you take these off. So you can just pry that off right there. You can pry this off right here. And you can take and you can either cut this one or pry it off. I'll typically try to cut it off. And you can cut it off right here. And I'll show this device right here on the screen. So if you look at this device right here, this is actually going to be a tight faceplate. And if you have these ears on, it will actually not screw to the faceplate. You have to take these off in order to use any type of RS cover or any other cover of that sort. So this was a very simple video. It may have been all review for you, but I hope that you guys learned a little bit today. This is the ba electrical basics of a receptacle. I hope you guys have a great day. I want you to know that I'm praying for you today. And if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I know it's hard right now. I know you're pushing. Keep fighting. Whatever you're working for, whatever you're working on, you can do it. You've got somebody fighting in your corner. Let's get to it.